Offshore fisheries are an excellent source of fresh and tasty fish that won't harm marine resources. But can we be sure that these fish are safe to eat? Here in Norway, the seawater is cold, fresh and clean, perfect for the local salmon industry, which plans to increase its production five-fold in the coming years. Fisheries are considered more efficient than cattle farms as a source of protein for the growing world population, but there is one important concern. In many places of the world, uh, the water is polluted due to human activity, um, and there's plastics, there's chemicals, uh, there's all kinds of waste products from our activity coming into the water. Fish there is one way or another eating it and accumulating it. Um, and once that fish is being eaten by humans, it can be a potential threat to the human health. A European research project is investigating the threats and looking at ways of dealing with them by removing contaminants from the water. Here is an experimental seaweed farm where the fast-growing algae reaches a length of two meters and has numerous potential uses, such as removing metals from the water. Seaweeds are our natural filters. They absorb many different chemicals, organisms, uh, uh, inorganic uh, stuff in the, in the water. So they, they'll take it out. They, the seaweeds here, they grow on the, the phosphate and the nitrate as a byproduct of the, the salmon farm. That's the nice combination of salmon and seaweed uh, in, in close proximity. But they, did, they do take out other materials also. So how big is the risk of water contamination for fish and other seafood? Scientists are trying to answer that question by focusing on poorly researched contaminants from relatively new chemical substances. Dangerous stuff which gets into the water ranges from flame retardants and personal care products to toxic metals and microplastics. Seafood is generally known to be healthy and a high-quality product. However, some of it can be contaminated. And so far, only a few contaminants are formally regulated. There is insufficient data available on many other chemicals released into the environment. Climate change could make things worse, as many species tend to accumulate harmful chemicals faster in warmer water. Some toxins found mostly in tropical areas have now spread to Europe. This lab in Portugal simulates ocean warming and acidification to find out their exact effects on the marine life. In that tank there, we're simulating the normal temperature and normal pH of seawater. And in this one here, we're simulating ocean warming. Both of the aquariums are being polluted with a mixture of impurities, which you can normally find in the marine environment. When we're finished, we'll be able to compare the extent of contamination in each tank. An ongoing study of fish samples from different European countries has shown that several areas around large cities and ports are already noticeably polluted. Researchers use expensive equipment unavailable to small companies, but they're also working on cheap biosensors that in the near future will help anyone to find out whether their seafood is still safe to eat.